Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. Welcome back to the show. We are so excited to have the owner and travel consultant at Latitudes Travel, Holly Robertson, joining us live here today on the podcast and Zoomcast to talk more about these amazing travel experiences she can help you with, of course, without all the hassle. Welcome to the show today. How are you? Hi, thanks, Jill. Oh, I'm pleasure. good. Great to have you here. Where are you hailing from today? Um, I live in New Berlin, Wisconsin, which is a suburb of Milwaukee. Beautiful. And tell me just a little bit about your company before we get started. So Latitudes Travel, I've been in business about 17 years. Um, we also own a luggage store. So my office is within the luggage store. So that helps me have a storefront and I can meet people one-on-one -on -one type of thing too. So yeah. Beautiful. Well, hold on. How do we contact you? Would you mind sharing? So my website is latitudeswi for wisconsin.com and my phone number is 414-433-4873. Perfect. And the website again, latitudeswi.com. So excited to talk about this. Look, for I'm a mom of a seven and nine year old. I love traveling and I'm sure you do. So tell me a little bit about your background and what brought you here and how, you know, where did you get your love of traveling from? But I want to know about you, where you're born, raised. Tell me about your family life to start. I want to hear the whole story, if you don't mind, Holly. It's good to find <laughs> right. out to the person we're talking to and going to book our travel with next. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. So born and raised Wisconsinite. Um, I'm very lucky that when I was younger, my parents took a couple's trip once a year and and then the opposite year would be my uh, family trip. So I got to see a lot of the U.S. that way. Um, I went to college for three and a half years. Wasn't my thing. Decided to go to travel school because uh, my mom is my inspiration. She is a self-proclaimed um, travel advisor. Yeah. And um, she would, you know, back in the day, which is a, a while ago, would would uh, get out her AAA trip ticks and her little books and things like that and uh, plan everything out, research everything for us. She also journals. She still journals her trips. So if you want to know what the price of gas was in 1973 when we went to Washington, D.C., or how much a uh, hamburger at McDonald's cost, she would have it in her journal. So you could look oh. that up. My goodness. So people would, would call her, um, you know, if they were going someplace and say, hey, Kathy, you know, we're going to Savannah. What should we see and do or whatever? Yeah. So she she put the travel bug in me for sure. Um, after going to college then, and it really wasn't my thing, I decided to go to um, more of a uh, hospitality type of uh, industry school that was down in Florida. And um, in Back in, in those days, we didn't have the internet and things like that. So everything was done through the mail. Um, I did my tests and everything. And then I went down to North Miami Beach to uh, for six weeks to do hands-on training. So I learned everything from restaurant manager to cruise director, wow. and ticketing, you know, airplane kind of stuff. And so then came back to Wisconsin and worked in hotels for a while, worked in restaurants for a while. And... Um, yeah, in 20, 2007, um, I I decided I was going to take a leap of faith and follow my heart's desire and a pretty big pay cut <laughs> and um, go into the, the travel advisor industry. So I worked and in a retail agency for three years and then went out on my own. Congratulations. So, and how, what is that like, by the way? Do you have to get licensed or what is the process of starting on your own? Just curious. Um, unfortunately there isn't, you know, anything that, that we have to take as far as accreditation. There are classes, of course, that you can do here in the Milwaukee area. They had travel, um, courses and things that are local, um, colleges and things like that, but there really isn't any, um, guidelines otherwise, as far as you as a consumer can see if, you know, how many trips I've planned or it's just basically word of mouth and references mm -hmm. and things like that. So I kind of wish that, that that was something that our industry would do to yeah. kind of help weed out for you as a consumer, those 
yeah. those agents that aren't out for your best interest and things like that. So interesting. Wow. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, let's get started. I mean, because now we're okay. talking full service travel, right? So right. by the way, you're based out of Wisconsin. Doesn't matter. You can help me in New York, someone yep. from Australia. And let's talk about, you know, what makes you unique, Holly? And let's talk about some of the traveling that uh, you offer your clients. Um, so what makes me unique, I think, um, post COVID is that I do have a storefront. I, you know, you can come in if you're in the area that you can talk to me one-on-one -on -one that way. Um, I am just a, you know, one man show type of thing. So I, I do my best to, to keep up with all the demand of travel. Um, it's, it's, it's winding down a little bit now. Um, but after, you know, when we were able to travel again after the pandemic, it was, it was very overwhelming some days and people that wanted to just get out of here and, and make those memories and things like that. So, um, as far as, you know, my unique, I don't, I don't feel like I'm a unique type of <laughs> person, but I do, I do have a lot of passion for travel. My why is to get people to see the world. I think that that if people traveled more, they would appreciate what we have here in, in the U S and it's very, I think it's very, um, I don't know what pe people need to do that to see, to see how, how good we have it. And just to, to visit other cultures and, and taste other food and see the history and the culture and, you know, all of those things that, that the world provides for us. So that's my why. I I, love you know. I want to do the same. <laughs> and uh, again, you're here to help everything. We're talking like airline tickets, hotel reservations, cruise packages, resorts. I mean, and let me just ask, I got to ask this, you know, why should people come see someone like you? I, I know the reason they're ready, but instead of going to like Google and finding a search engine and find a package and a deal, but like, you guys have the best deals. Can you yeah. explain this process? And people think, sure. well, does it cost me to go to a travel agency? Some some agencies do have like planning fees or kind of depends on what you're looking for. Um, my business plan does not have any planning fees yet. Um, and I, but if you call me for just you have the connections tickets, right to these resorts right. too, and they're the ones who yep. also supplement you, right? That's how yep. it works. Yep, the commission is built into those prices, so um, I can save you time. A lot of times, you know, that way to narrow things down for you. Um, I can be an advocate if something goes wrong mm -hmm. that way. But I think the most important reason to find a local travel agent doesn't have to be me. I'm, you know, there's enough work for everybody, but find that local travel agent that you trust and um, support a small local business business. Um, that that's my biggest thing out of using an agent. So. All right. Well, do you want to talk about some of these amazing things? I mean, let's start with cruises, okay? Because you have all different types of cruises, regular cruises, specialty cru river cruises. I was looking river at cruise. that before. Oh my yep. goodness. What did you, what, did you want to talk about cruises? Do you want to talk? Tell me, this is your show. There's so much to talk <laughs> um, about. Yeah, there is so much to talk about. So um, I really love river cruising in Europe. I've done four and I'll be doing wow. another um, Christmas market cruise, taking a group um, in December. So that is my favorite way to cruise, but cruising, yeah, has great opportunities to unpack once yep. and then see a bunch of different places for sure. Um, uh, your ocean cruises and things like that have, you know, it's more, yep. um, you know, the bells and whistles on the ship, the, you know, quality entertainment, the great food, all of that, the kids programs. Um, it's a very multi-generational or could be um, type of travel. So we see a lot of that now as well in the industry, you know, grandma and grandpa want to take the kids and the grandkids and, and make those memories um, while they can. And um, it's a, a great opportunity to do that as well. So, yep. I love it. I love it. And so hold on, you can do guided tours too, if we want. So, yeah, I, well, I do escorted tours. So I have, I'm doing three groups uh, this year. I have done and um, we're just leaving, we're leaving for, for Cape Cod um, in a couple of weeks with a group. I was in Ireland this year with a group. And then the Christmas markets is another one this year. What's the Next Christmas year, markets? In, in Europe with the, um, in you know, like Eastern Europe, Germany and, um, you know, off the Danube and the Rhine and, 
and things and they have the little tents with all of the the local crafts and things like that and food and things yeah yeah you should <laughs> you should try well, to you do know something. what i want to do with my kids i want to take them to lapland finland have you ever done okay. that or experienced I, like the santa village and stuff nope nope i have not been up in that in that area at all yet so but for sure is on my list and that well, you now can... you got these christmas markets on my mind i'm gonna look at those later <laughs> i'm ma making yeah. a mental note <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh my goodness so this is a part of the river cruise correct yes Yep. Wow. Yeah. And where yeah. do you fly into for that? Just curious. So with this particular um, tour operator, we're flying into um, Frankfurt, doing some things in Germany, and then we're going down part of the Danube and ending up in Vienna. So. And how many days is it? Uh, nine days. Is there still availability? <laughs> <laughs> no. They sell out really, really quick. So, because it's a pretty shortened season for that type of thing. And um, the... The ships only hold about 120 people. So, you know, those fill up pretty quick. That, way. that is an amazing idea. I see you spark yeah. something new to me that I'm just like, <laughs> wow. But speaking of river cruise, what other popular river cruises uh, do you offer? So, um, well, the, the main ones that I would recommend as a first time river cruiser would be the Rhine or the Danube. And then um, the companies I work with also do some exotics, you know, the Nile, Mekong. Okay. Um, Amazon, things like that. If you want to do that up and come, I'm going to be doing the Doro river for what we call a fam. It's a familiarization trip. Ooh, okay. Um, so that tour operator is bringing me to Portugal to go on their, their river cruise so that I can sell it better. So that's my next one. That's coming up in December, uh, in November. And that's just for me um, as a, you know, as an agent that I get to, to do that. So there are some great opportunities as a travel agent as well. So. Beautiful. Well, I'm excited to talk to you here and I hope our listeners are going to reach out to you. Let's remind them at this point, cause we're halfway through how we can contact you again. So my website is, uh, latitudes, wi.com. And my phone number is 414-433-4873. Perfect. And by the way, you also specialize in group travel. I was looking at some of your all-inclusive uh, resorts and stuff. I mean, by the way, I saw that um, you work with sandals and stuff like that. I'm going yes. on a see. I'm going to see my friend next month at the beaches and with the kids okay. for her wedding. Have you ever okay. uh, been there? But I'm like excited. Yeah. I didn't realize which, you do those type. Of, which we're going beach, which beaches? Beaches, Turks and Caicos. It is. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's a beautiful property. Yeah. yeah then, so yeah. I can't wait for that. So tell us what and else that, do you offer. Oh, go ahead. Um, yeah. And I was going to say that destination is awesome as well. So um, yeah, all, being from the Midwest, you know, it's starting to get colder here, not this week, but <laughs> it will be eventually. And so people like to get out of, out of Dodge during the winter and for spring break and things like that. So the all-inclusive market is a, a pretty big chunk of my business. Mm -hmm. So Mexico and the Caribbean. Um, I try to go to Mexico at least two to three times a year. I'm going to go to a conference now in October um, and site inspect some of the the um, resorts and things like that, too. So that helps keep me up to date on those things, see the new things that are going on, check out some of the excursions and things like that, too. So um, that's a big chunk of my business as well. But yeah. I also have, yeah, I, I try to do three groups, um, escort Three groups a year mm -hmm. and I also have a solo travelers group that um, we meet once a month to try to get people to know each other and and just travel together potentially so um, I have that going as well amazing well is there okay is there some place you've never been like oh, what's yeah. on your bucket list or how many countries have you been I'm impressed I want to hear all about it um yeah the, it, for being a travel advisor I don't think personally that I've been to a lot of countries or a lot of places so there's a lot of things on my list and that's one of the hazards of being a travel advisor you call me to say yeah you want to go to Finland I I research it and whatever and it's like well that's got to go on my list now so um but I think the big ones right now um, that I'm looking forward to, I'm really looking forward to this Portugal trip. That seems to be an up and coming destination. Um, I'd love to do Croatia. Um, 
an African safari is also on my list. So, um, but I've been to some pretty cool places. I've been to Iceland. A lot of people haven't been there. Have you? And, oh my yeah. gosh. What is that like? Did you stay at an ice hotel? No. <laughs> no. What is ice? There was really like? no ice. There was, oh, there's interesting, glaciers. Right? There's, See? <laughs> um, so the two countries uh, that I've been to that I think it most represents are Kauai, Hawaii, and Ireland. So you have the lava fields, you have the waterfalls, you have the glaciers. It's just a beautiful country. And the, you know, if you can stand the cold, it's not, you know, your typical warm beach destination, but um, the people are very welcoming and um, you can't read the the language or say the language, but otherwise it's, it's a beautiful, beautiful place to go. I recommend it to anyone. So amazing. And by the way, I have to point out, sorry, but do you have some great um, testimonials on your uh, website? I hope people can go to Google and check out these reviews. For example, uh, Latitudes is our go-to travel concierge. Holly has put together several trips for us the last few years. We have always had an amazing time. She took care of all the details for our honeymoon a few years ago, continues to help uh, make sure everything is perfect when we travel. So happy a good friend recommended her. We're looking forward to our next big trip. That's from Jesse. Here's Kyla saying, you're the best, you're professional, patient, responsive, diligent, and amazing. We decided to take a very last minute vacation with another family over the spring break. As soon as Holly entered the picture, she was able to find exactly what we were looking for within our budget. We were looking for and the process of traveling so seamless and stress-free. Highly would recommend that. And that's another thing I want to point out. Working with someone like you, if you go on a vacation and something goes wrong when you arrive, you are the go-to. You're going to help fix that problem. It's not like you're out on your own. You booked it on Expedia and you have no one to contact, right? I mean, that's, right. let's talk about some of the benefits of booking with someone like you, please. Yep. So definitely an advocate. Um, even if you would, would call me for airline tickets and I need to charge a fee for that because there's no commission built into that. But the reason I do that is obviously for my time and booking and things like that. But I also monitor your flights while you're traveling. So I can be proactive if you're yeah. going to miss that connection or things like that. Um, you know, I will try to do the best that I can that way. I have a lot of company, um, my my preferred suppliers, I um, back them 100% and mm -hmm. they back me that way too and um, will help out with any problems, you know, that way I have a lot of relationships with the different yeah. hotels and resorts that I use in Mexico and the Caribbean. So they know me personally and will will help out the best, you know, that way as well. So, you know, unfortunately, Mother Nature throws in a snowstorm or hurricane or, you know, things that I don't have control over or the airlines cancel or change things. But um for for most days it's it's a it's a pretty good job. So yeah. It sure is. Well, this is exciting. And we still have five more minutes left in your show. What else in particular did you want to share for today, being that it is our first show and we are really excited that you're here and just want to remind everyone, latitudeswi.com. That's right. She's based out of Wisconsin and doesn't matter. You can be anywhere around the world. She's on social media too. I saw you on Facebook and Instagram mm -hmm. as well. So what else did you have in mind for us today, darling? Um, Just, I, I just, want to reiterate the the fact to you know you don't necessarily have to use me but please please check into using a, a local travel advisor um going through the online travel agencies um can be a real headache if you ever have a problem or, or something that way that you yeah. have to contact them if anything goes wrong so um i just want people to get out and make memories while you can you know a lot of times people are like, well, now I'm retired. Now I'm, you know, can I have maybe the extra money to do it in the time for sure. And it's like some of these destinations you need to do when you can still have good knees and, and hips and, <laughs> and can get around and things like that too. So um, take, take. Are you there? We lost you. You broke up. Hello. Uh -huh. I take the money there you go. and, and um, just make those memories with your frozen to me. Yeah. Yeah. You're frozen. Sorry. You you're go. cutting okay, in and sorry. out. It's okay, it's okay. Do you have any specials that are happening now? You know, what's anything, you know, how does it work? Um, I know there's some specials on the side. Is there anything you want to share? Um, so a lot of the cruise lines are doing specials. Um, they're, they're bringing out their, 
2026 inventory. So if you're a planner, you want to do that ahead of time and, and get that room that you want, get, um, you know, the pricing that you want, the best pricing always is usually, you know, at the time that those come out. And then you have a year to pay for it potentially as well. So you can break that up and it's a little bit more budget friendly too. But there's always promotions with pretty much all travel at some point. So and and being a travel advisor and I'm um my consortia is Travel Leaders Network. They also offer us exclusive type of of promotions at what as well that aren't available to the the regular consumer. So be sure to check that out too. Ah, is there any secret tips you want to share in the travel business? Like, you know, oh. when is it the best time to book a vacation? I mean, a lot of people take the, let's say family vacation during the spring break. I know it's most expensive, but a lot of times people are off of school that time. So it's easier for children. Any tips or right. advice on that? Because then it's like too expensive to go. But then do I take off a week at work, take my kid out of school to go on a, a different day? What do you suggest? Yeah, do it as, as soon as you can. So from this market in Milwaukee, we have with um, FunJet and Apple Vacations, we have nonstop flights to Mexico and the Caribbean. And some of those are sold out already. They came out in July and they were gone within the, the first month or so. So people, you need to plan ahead for sure. Like I said, another reason to do that is that you have more time to pay for that that vacation as well. So um, yeah, I would say, especially if it's going to be over a holiday or, yeah. or like a spring break type of thing, you need to, you need to do that in advance. There's really no last minute deals, um, anymore. Sometimes the cruise lines, if you live in Florida or near a port or something like that, you can get some pretty good deals because they mm -hmm. want to fill those ships at the last minute. But, um, otherwise, plan ahead is, is my best tip. So got it. All right. Well, thank you so much for being here for joining yeah. us. Pleasure having you. I hope we get to talk again. Okay. Uh, if we do, I would love for you to share your screen. We can go over some of the, 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 the traveling that you do or some of the th upcoming promotions you have, the gift registries. I'm looking them on the website. So it's always good to see stuff too uh, for next okay. time. So hopefully we'll All see right. you again, latitudes, okay. wi.com. Also, 414-433-4873 and um, advice to the Cape Cod Islands tour. That's departing one very soon, right? The 21st, we leave. Is that, yep. is that one booked? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that All was booked up. But there's plenty more. <laughs> Check her out. Go. And uh, pleasure <laughs> having you here. Excited to okay. talk. Okay. Inspiring right. those to travel, to see the world, right? Life is too short and too precious, especially after the pandemic. I agree with you. It's yep. time to make that happen and reach out. She can help you anywhere around the world. And uh, thank you so much for being here, for okay. enlightening us Thanks, today. Jill. Have I, a great day. I appreciate the opportunity. Bye-bye. Are you looking for even more of the podcasts and hosts that you love? The Podcast Business News Network is proud to announce that you now have even more ways to listen live. Check out the MyTuner Radio, online radio box, and simple radio apps on iOS and Android, or find us online. Search for Business News Network on MyTuner-Radio.com, or search Podcast Business News Network on Streama.com and OnlineRadioBox.com slash US. Take your podcast on the go and don't miss a minute of the action. Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. For nearly 2,000 severely injured veterans, everyday life has become filled with barriers. Day-to-day -day simple tasks can become pretty daunting. I have to carry my chair up two flights of steps or have somebody do it for me. What scares me the most is just the falling. When I'm struggling with my house, I think, you know, to have that one great barrier just knocked down, I mean, it's... It's crucial. Home for Our Troops is a wonderful nonprofit that builds a mortgage free, fully adaptive, handicap accessible house, and there's no catch. It'll be our very first home that we've ever owned. This is a game changer. This is where your life begins again. We need you to join us in completing this important mission. Please visit hfotusa.org and help build homes and rebuild lives. Because of you, everything's it's going to be okay.